welcome back to another reading vlog. My name is Tally. If you are new to this channel, first of all, before I even begin, thank you guys so, so, so much for a thousand subscribers. It means a lot to me. I think a year ago, I was like super discouraged and I wanted to just delete my account because I did not have anyone watching my videos. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just received my Sephora order. I had a $20 gift card from Sephora. And I got some samples. I got this Tom Ford sample perfume. Mm, it doesn't smell that great. And then I got the Fenty Beauty Mag Match Sticks. Yeah, I got the color medium. Tomorrow is my birthday, so I wanted to share my birthday with you guys and hope you guys can follow along. Um, I bought myself some roses because self-care is always important for your birthday. If no one gives you anything, then give yourself some presents. If no one bakes you a cake, make yourself a damn cake. So for this weekend, I'm going to be starting The Golden Cage. This one is a thriller. I've been wanting to read a thriller so, so much and I hopefully this is a really good thriller. is working on something so but it is friday august 21st it's currently 10 56 a.m today is my birthday i'm finally 25 years old and this morning my parents came in with flowers and a small mini cake and a ranchera birthday song i have a zoom meeting this morning I'm supposed to be wear a tie-dye sweater shirt and this is the only one i have so my brother he sent me a book you Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria. I'm very excited to read it and he left me a little note. It says, enjoy your gift, happy 25th, love you. You're my favorite book blogger and we love a supportive brother. So I'm very happy. I will update you guys as soon as I'm done with my Zoom meeting and I'll just take you guys throughout my day. <laughs> Oh, my mom got me a shake. How nice. <laughs> oh, cheers. I'm going to drink my shake and I'm going to start my Zoom, my Zoom meeting. Okay, my sister got me a birthday present. Let's see what's inside. I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> she got me the kitty pens. Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson.
coffee. It's pretty good. I am now done with work. Um, it was just like an hour and a half, so that was fast. I already changed into another shirt because my sweater, that sweater made me super hot and it's super hot right now in California, but I have my coffee. I got some cute little pens that my sister gave me and she also got me Peasing Me Together by Renee Watson. It's about a powerful and inspiring story of a girl who thinks that in order for her to succeed she needs to get out of her poor neighborhood. Her mother always tells her to, to take advantage of every opportunity that comes her way. So they, yeah, I'm so happy that I met her and that she found my channel because I feel like she's a really close friend to me even though I've never met her in person. I just feel like she's such a genuine and um, amazing friend and amazing person. You guys should definitely check out her YouTube channel. It's so relaxing and it's just so um, humble. I love her channel. She sent me The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Hopefully I can have some time to myself and eat um, and read. I also plan on making myself a birthday cake and just decorate it with flowers. I will update you guys as soon as I start reading. I plan on reading The Golden Cage by Camila Lack. And since it's my birthday weekend, I obviously need to read a book by my favorite author, Stephen King, Misery. And I'm excited to finally read it. I've heard awesome reviews on this one. They both die at the end. I am currently on page 200 and I'm picking it up until now. I hadn't, I didn't have really time to read all week until now. It's now 4 40 p.m. I am about to make myself a cake. I haven't done really a lot of things today. The cake mix that I'm going to be using, I'm gonna make a double cake with white frosting and I'm gonna put blueberries on the top with some flower designs.
for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through And I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters So I cry instead Thank you so much to Christina at The Literary Lifestyle. She sent me 1922 by Stephen King. I already watched the movie for this, so I'm really excited to read it. It is now Saturday night. It is August 22nd. Um, it is currently 7.17 p.m. And today I went to Target and um, I went to the 99 cent store and I was just watching Vampire Diaries all day. I haven't done any reading. I finished reading They Both Die at the End yesterday. And I'm going to start reading The Golden Cage. And people have mentioned that it is kind of like a mashup of Gone Girl and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I also want to start um, The Death of Vivek Oji. Oji. I just wanted to show you guys a little some things that I got. I got this storage organizer to organize my pens. I know it's for jewelry, but I'm just going to use it for my pens that my sister got me. So I got some highlighters, pencils. Should we go minty? finished reading The Golden Cage last night. I started out this book with really not really enjoying it because of how a lot of topics that it has but I think I did really enjoy it because just the perspective of um, women. The, the message that this book gave was women who are still under a golden cage by their husbands who are very manipulative and um, very abusive. I read it in one night so it's very fast paced and it was very entertaining. Women were portrayed in the beginning as being just games, being able to do anything basically and not smart. And I really like how the author changed that whole perspective about women and how he went to portray women as strong and as independent and that they're able to open up their own business and and thrive and succeed. The character development from the main character in the story was so, so good. In the beginning, she was very weak and powerless and very fearful for her husband. 
and um, when her husband has an affair she is so upset and that makes her rethink about her life she made her husband pay her back by the revenge that she did a lot of trigger warnings in this book from emotional child abuse um, alcoholism there's also abortion it goes really into detail about abortion in one chapter it's, it is an adult thriller so I don't re recommend you guys reading it if you're 12 and under it goes really heavy into details about sex but overall I rated it a 4 out of 5 I loved the writing style I loved the main character I loved her best friend Chris I would have to say that it's not that suspenseful some of the some parts were kind of predictable the ending got me had me super shocked and I had no idea that, that it was going to end like that. I really like how the author included her past, her childhood past, because her dad was abusive. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed my birthday weekend, even though I did not do a lot of things. I'll talk to you guys later.